Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at how to use groups in Ableton Live 8. Groups allow you to create submixes within Live, but they can also be used to simply divide up different elements of your projects. Let's start by taking a look at how to create a group. First, you want to select the tracks that you would like in your group. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Apple A or Control A to select all of the groups that I have in my project. Then right click on one of the tracks and select group tracks. You'll see that they are now folded into a group. If you want, you can always close the group to save some space. And in the arrangement view, it will show you the different colors of the clips or tracks that you have in that group. You can unfold the group by clicking the button again. By default, when you group the tracks, all of their outputs will be sent to that group. You can see in the IO section that the output has automatically been switched to the group. You can always change this by clicking on the output settings and then selecting whichever output you would like. One of the nifty things about the groups is that you can drag tracks in and out of the groups. So if you don't want this particular channel to be in the group anymore, you can simply drag it out of the group. Or if you've created a new track, you can always drag it back into that particular group. And once again, when you drag it in, it will automatically auto route to the group. One thing to note is that if you delete the group, you will be deleting all of the tracks that are inside of that group. Instead, you want to go and right click on the particular group that you would like to delete, then click ungroup tracks. Now all the tracks have been removed from that group and you'll see that the output settings are once again defaulted to the master, except for the track that we changed earlier. So that's a quick overview of how groups work in Ableton Live 8. If you'd like to see more videos on Ableton Live, visit youtube.com slash the DJ podcast or the DJ Thanks for watching.